Hi guys, welcome to day four of my advent calendar. Advent calendar time first. Let us find number four. There we go, it's down here. So it's easy just to open it this way around. Ooh. We got some caviar metallic pearls in silver. That's quite cool. I've never used these before, so that should be interesting. And what does the quote in the door say? So ignore any background noise, that's just my Xbox turning on. It's the same one. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Hmm, looks like they might repeat a bit. Let's just push the doors have opened already all the way in. There we go, that's a bit better. So that's that one, that's pretty cool. Anyway, today we're going to discuss my favourites from November. So that should be cool. Um, start with this one because this is my absolute favourite. This was a birthday present. Well, my birthday was the 1st of November from my friend Grace. These are super warm and snuggly. She's based them off my favourite character Sasuke from Naruto. Sasuke wears blue, black, white sort of thing. Um, I've actually got a plush of him. I'll shoot you. There we go. Da -da -da -da. These are super snuggly and because it is really, really cold and I get super cold hands, then yeah, they're lots of fun. Let's put them on. They obviously don't go well with this Mass Effect hoodie, but whatever, I will make it work. Yay! I honestly do love them that much. Um, so, second. There's not really any particular order, but I'll just grab this one because it's closest. Is Dragon Age Inquisition. I've nowhere near completed this game because I just don't have the time to sit and play for hours on end at the moment. This is amazing. Dragon Age is one of my favourite game series. It's not my favourite, probably... My second or third favourite, Mass Effect, is my absolute favourite game series. And I am absolutely loving this game. Um, it's definitely better than Dragon Age 2, maybe even better than Dragon Age Origins, so yeah, it's awesome. Next up is a candle. This is my cinnamon candle. Um, I absolutely love the smell of cinnamon. I've been using this one quite a bit. It was there and now it's gone down. I usually have a candle burning if I'm in my room, obviously don't right now because I have it here. And I only like to burn one scented one at a time if I get confused. And this actually smells really strongly. It's quite subtle if you're in the room, but if you leave the room and then come back in, it does quite hit you at once. You're just like, oh, lots of cinnamon. So, yay, cinnamon candle. Next up is actually a Lipsil. Oh, well, yeah, Lipsil. I showed these in a haul at one point. This is my Sprite one. Sprite lip balm, and yeah, as soon as you open it, you just smell it, and yeah, I really love it, and I actually haven't put it on today, so, yeah. <laughs> it's super soft, and it doesn't really taste of Sprite or anything like that, but yeah, I'm really addicted to it, it's just stayed in my bag the whole time. Um, I'm addicted to lip balm anyway, I always have one, I always use it, I never share it though. I am that awful person who someone sees me put it on, they're like, can I use your lip balm? And I'm like, no, back off, that's disgusting. So, that's that done. Bye bye. Right, next up is dry shampoo. This is a product I cannot live without. I've got really, really thick hair. I tend to use this on day two hair before washing it again, just to keep it all nice and lively and shiny. And yet, yeah, I cannot live without dry shampoo. Yeah, that's all I can really say about that. Uh, this is just the brand I got today, well not today, but I've had this month, which is Batiste Dry Shampoo. I've never tried this one before, works out alright for me. I tend to stick with Tresemme for hair, but not this time. Next up is another birthday present. This is from my brother. And I don't use these very much, it's a collection of brushes. I don't know where he got them from, but... Whatever, these are more my going out sort of brushes, that's why they're all sparkly and clean. Well, I clean my brushes anyway. Always, always clean your brushes after using them. And it's just got so many brushes in it. This is my most used type of brush because I put my eyeliner on with eyeshadow. So, yeah, I don't really use eyeliner pencils on the top line. But hey, someone's just come online, that's all that is. So it's just done a huge update and I wasn't expecting it to finish in the middle of my video. Anyway, next up is... This is a present from a friend, I can't remember when I got it, it's a Claire's... 
Accessories Cosmetics palette. This again is for going out, so I don't use it every day because it's all glittery and really shiny. And well, I occasionally use the blues for work, but yeah, it's more a going out sort of one. Does the darker colours do come out quite smoky if you like the smoky eye effect, which is really cool. So yeah, I really love that one. I would recommend that one. Right, only two things left, so it's quite a short video this one. Now I bought this one myself, this next one, to play with my friends on my birthday. And it is Cards Against Humanity. And this to me is the best game ever. I will try and do a Cards Against Humanity video at some point, but be warned it is not for the easily offended. Because it does say on the side of it, a party game for horrible people. And I also got the first, second and third expansion packs. And in these actually come blank cards. Let's see if I can get some out. Can I find them? Right, this is one of the ones that we wrote ourselves. So blank cards that you can write yourself usually wouldn't actually have anything on it. This is a question card, which is black. And this is one that we wrote ourselves. So it's Harry Potter was quite surprised to find blank in his safe at Gringotts. And then, let's just pull out a white card, you also have answer cards. And someone could have put down my machete. So yeah, I am also quite tempted to do a rundown of my favourite cards from um, Cards Against Humanity, but I do want the other expansion packs first. So I'm really looking forward to getting those. And we actually do want to get just packs of blank cards, because we would like to make a video game deck. So that would be a lot of fun, We're probably going to make a Mass Effect deck N7. Last thing is probably the saddest thing on my list, but I don't care. Because I'm quite a creative sort of person. I've left a price on again. What is with me in doing that? Um, rip that off dead quick. <laughs> so, the last thing on my list is loom bands. I don't actually use these to make bracelets anymore. I actually first got into them because I went on an 80s themed hen night and... So I was making all colourful bracelets and necklaces and I did some hair accessories as well. So that was quite fun, but I will give you a sneak peek of what I'm making at the moment. I will not tell you what it is or what it's for, because it's not for me. Ta-da! Sneak peek. Right, okay. That's all. <laughs> um, I shall hopefully make some videos. I have not designed that myself. That has been designed by a girl named Courtney, who has a channel called How to Loom Your Dragon. But I will talk about that at a different time, because it is great it, i do find it great fun um that's my main with loom bands there we go um <laughs> the first like figure that i sort of made was spider-man though it did kind of unravel because i wasn't quite sure what i was doing and then here we have baby toothless from how to train your dragon i love him he is so cute and he's even got the little brown tail that again is Courtney from How to Loom Your Dragon. She is amazing. The final one, which is actually my favourite, is Harry Potter with his wand. I do love that one a lot. So, yes, that was my favourite for this month. So I'm just getting obsessed with my loom bands. Let's just pop them up there where they came from. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.